Leslie Nielsen is back, and it just seemed natural to pick him to play Uncle Albert, um, right, right out of Spider-Man, the, the character that Cliff Robertson played. And uh, he's, he's really, really funny. I mean, it's, it's Leslie, and you know, if you can pick the right part for him to play, uh, Leslie is another one that he's such a veteran, he, he knows how to play it and just and doesn't overdo it. And, uh, and, and his are among the biggest laughs in the movie. I worked with Regina Hall in Scary Movie 3 and Scary Movie 4. And it was, she's always fun to have on the set and she's very funny. She goes right in, it's, she's got that great character and uh, everybody loves Regina. She gets stopped on the street because people recognize her and they just, they're, they just start smiling when they see her. Craig was on the set with me constantly during Scary Movie 3 and Scary Movie 4, and so I think this is just a natural progression for him. And this time, he wrote the whole thing and directed it all, and uh, so he, he got a chance to really take over and do what I think he really wanted to do in, you know, in Scary 3 and Scary 4 all along. I mean, not that he wanted to take over anything, but he was, he was more than ready to, to do this. The character of Rick in our movie is uh, very much like the Tobey Maguire character in Spider-Man. And we use that as the, the basic character. He's a high school kid and, uh, you know, is in love with a girl who's kind of unreachable. And then he's bitten by the dragonfly and gets superpowers. And then it goes on from there. And, but he remains his kind of innocent character. And he has to learn his lesson, which is in any movie is... I guess a little bit important, even in a, a, a silly spoof. The horror movie genre is, you know, it does renew itself, but we've done that, and the, and the detective genre in Naked Gun, and so uh, I think uh, we just thought, yeah, how about, how about these uh, superhero movies? It was a huge genre, but uh, I mean, they already are almost spoof to begin with, so you know you have to push it a little bit further. But I think you know Craig Mazin has done an amazing job at, at you know mining the jokes out of it. The villain is uh, called Lou Landers, and he's he's the hourglass, and he's the head of this big conglomerate, and he's dying, and he uh, to 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 keep living. He's got to kill people, so that's you know we just set that up, and then uh, it's and because of that he's got he's invented this crazy machine, pretty much follows this kind of superhero genre quality of that the the villains are super villains. They're not just uh, you know regular civilians. So uh, Rick has a very worthy adversary.